Before I start the video, please do not be offended by what I think. In certain types of decks, I will play in versus in special and postpone of 1k of puzzles sub on my YouTube. Decks I will be faced by these streamers is in either by their own creation, internet download, or preset decks. Okay, what I mean by import means zero skill indefinitely. But if the streamer reminds me it's just for testing, it's just fine. But downloaded stuff for the internet, which is like importing, it's just absolutely no effort whatsoever. And it doesn't impress me one bit. Okay, preset decks is like starter decks. Well, it can be the own creation, it could be metas, whatever. Okay, brew, like own creation, 100% skill, and that is the only one that will impress me. And it does keep me satisfied to have a good game. So, in that further ado, let's start with the least favorite that I faced in a streamer. And first, it's my mistake on this deck. I wanted to bring my Rakdos endgame, and unfortunately, I don't know why it, Wizards made me choose my three year old mono green. It was a mana ramp deck that I submitted for world live um because it's and there was one viewer that i got very very angry with he said it was a four-year-old elf deck uh no it's not don't fucking bullshit me because this deck is three years old and i put it on Aetherhub, hub and it was featured on my channel on worldwide live and he's a small content creator as well, so I put his channel in my description, and he's a cool dude. Uh, so I don't give a shit um, if they think it's an elf deck, because it's not. And before I, before I jump into conclusions, this was not the deck I actually chose. Wizards forced chose this deck i wanted to pick my rakdos deck but it made me go to mono green and i don't know why it did that and it didn't even um and this is the cell phone version by the way i just i i was in complete piss off mode that you can't even edit the deck that there was like two cards uh deemed illegal for the direct challenge and and i was like what the fuck was going on seriously what the fuck was going on so i wanted to pick the deck and i picked the deck hit the challenge button faced my streamer uh opponent and then this is what i have my three-year-old mana ramp deck I mean, this is just the worst. It's just the worst matchup for me. Sorry, it is. Because, and as soon as I discovered, um, I know, I know this one was the worst one because this is not the deck I chose for this match, to be honest. And it was a pretty much of a waste of time. And as soon as, um, as soon as I remember the streamer that, um, reminded me that this deck was a test uh, for the Boros Convoke download, uh, which uh, she imported. Um, so yeah, it was just a test really, because there's no, so there's no skill whatsoever. So I wasn't really going to bother, uh, because due to the fact, um, the match was pretty pointless. I think this one hit the new record as the most pointless match. Um, until the next one. Uh, which I'll show um, uh, when the case has been played. Because, yep, it was this one uh, which was shown in the meta. So I was pretty much dead at that point. So I was exactly zero. So I didn't really like that match. It was pointless, waste of time, and Wizards 
if you're gonna make me not edit my favorite deck and you're not gonna let me replace cards during a direct challenge then what the fuck are you doing it it may work for you on pc and it doesn't work on cell phone like what the fuck are you doing all right so my second least favorite is Artemix Nix. Um, I wasn't really a fan of her as well. Um, because due to of the arrogance of um, her moderators. Um, and um, it's not really much of a good uh, content thing as well. But I'm, I'm probably being shadow banned uh, from her from her Twitch, so I didn't. I didn't really care less about her when I faced her. Um, this one was um was essentially a Rainbow Alliance deck, and I ran in this one was um was an artifact ramp. So pretty much. Um, it was a rainbow. Uh, it was probably yesteryear. Um, I had this um artifact deck, and I was pretty much um okay with it. So, so my opponent was pretty much surprised that I actually can play Tazeret in turn four. Or was it three? Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Uh, and now... Um, my opponent was somehow thinking. And she played Devilish Valet. And while slowly thinking what she's going to do with the Gala. And put a plus one counter on it. And swings everything to kill Tezzeret. So... I put I just put some emotes just to show uh what is always the big hint. And the next turn I had Ugin on board, board wiped everything uh from her board. And pretty much the next turn she she casted um I pretty much think uh it was another alliance, or was it the Dryad? Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, it was the Dryad. Yeah, Dryad was there, so I just let the token come come by first. And then I decided to play the engine first. And then kill the Dryad and the token along with it. But I didn't bother damaging, uh, I didn't bother damaging her, so I just got rid of the creatures instead. So, that's the token and the Dryad gone, and we'll play the idol, uh, just for inconvenience. But the Hydra land is there, so that was the problem, because... If she sacks the Hydra and gets rid of one of my lands, uh, then I got no other basics that I can actually play because I don't use um the basic lands um, in this deck. So that one was the problem. All right, so I put Guardian Idol uh, for sake of moment. Uh, with Board Wipe... Uh, I think we'll board wipe the creatures again. So we do this, and we do this, and we'll swing for four, and she's down to 13, I'm still at 21. Uh, okay. Okay, Cathedral Cassade. Um, I don't know if I want that. Hmm.
I don't know if I should get rid of it. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna cast them um, the chromatic lantern. I think I'm gonna have to bring um the guiding art the guardian idol. Uh wait, tap that. Tap that. Yeah, guardian idol. Uh resolve it first. Um draw a card. Oh no, it's not lethal yet, isn't it? Tap. Okay. Um. Yeah, I decide to wipe that out. Um, and we will definitely recast. Yeah, I think. Wasting the mana on the Guardian Idol was my mistake. So yeah, that was definitely my fault. So, pass the turn to opponent. And it's the Indrescent Horn Beetle. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so... Would target to kill the beetle. And as for the next one, I think it's lethal. Uh, yeah, it is lethal. So yeah, GG. And the next opponent. Uh, it's going to be somewhere in the middle, uh, since this game was pretty much a little bit of weak sauce. So, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this one was pretty simple. My next one in the middle of my old favourite uh, within since uh, the war spark to Theros Beyond, uh, which was actually um, uh, MTG Jeff, because um, because I personally liked facing MTG Jeff, and we both um had evens of wins and losses together, and and. MTG Joe um has taken his corner while he's been uh busy with reality now. So it's been unfortunate that that he has more reality going on and Joe has taken over. Um yeah, MTG Joe who has taken over Jeff's um channel on YouTube just to do um creations. And sometimes Jeff takes over, but majority of the time it's MTG Joe. But, but when it comes to um, Jeff, he is he is actually a good um, he's actually a good constructive player. Um, he doesn't he doesn't really play um limited. Uh, as much as I see. And. He sometimes streams on Twitch, but I don't know if I see him that uh, I don't see him in uh, streams on Twitch anymore because um, of reality, as I said before. And on YouTube videos, um, MTG Joe takes over the reins uh, just to increase more of the content of his. And... It's been pretty much unfortunate um, just to just to see one die out and one takes over. But as soon as the one that goes, the one I like that goes, it's just pretty unfortunate you don't play with them anymore. So, so pretty much in this one, uh, this one was um, Brawl. Uh, back in 2020. And. 
So this one I played was Grixis, um, was pretty much Grixis Control. Uh, it was semi-control and some removal, but I didn't have the good draws in this game because, um, I, I did not get the desired, um, color of the land. But I did get fortunate to get one of the card, but the game pretty much solidified one-sided. But it wasn't really that good uh, in my in my end. But but in but in this one, it was actually really much of a good game, to be honest, because. Because I was trying to hold off as much defenses as possible. So it's more of a defense situation for me. And and Jeff's goblins were more in the offense. Okay, so I asked Yaka on it. And he reacted um, that he was being sure that I was running low on counters. And... And my mirror uh, is still untapped. So I passed the turn afterwards. And he was thinking if he's going to bring Siege Commander at that point. Or he was going to um, use um, Perforos Intervention. Uh, so, uh, but he was not going to go this far to bring Brash Tartar yet. So he, so, he's, so he chose to bring um, Siege Commander. Uh, which was actually a good move. And when I drew a card, uh, it didn't really seem that good. So I decided to play line, the lantern. So I skipped the next turn as well because I can't attack him. I can't attack him at all because he's got so many ads. Um... At this point, he was going to go with either the Brash Tarner or the Ringleader, but he chose the Brash Tarner. So he swung the tokens, and and I decided to block um, the tokens with the token and Overwhelmed Apprentice and bounce it back and mill. And I did mill uh, to... The Ecapathy and the Fire the Eye thing, whatever. So, I had a Torbrand as well as he did. So, that's the only one I had for Grix's power. Um, so, what I decided to do, uh, just to wait to be sure uh, what he was up to. So, what he decided and thinked, uh, he was gonna either use the siege, or the fire, or the firebrand. But he chose the perforous intervention, which made sense, because to add two more damage, uh, which means that Torbrand is instantly dead. So. Torbrand is instantly dead. And then he decided to play one of the enchantments. And he swings with everything. And I decided to block um, one token. And then I blocked Siege Commander. So I was pretty much low at life at that point. But there was nothing really I could do. So it was pretty much GG. So... So I decided to do the last blow of my own and kill his Torbrand. And and he did a a sneaky sneak on me <laughs> when he was about to do the Muxus. So he did get the Muxus in the next turn, by the way. And it was pretty much amusing. <laughs> because I do I do like um his final blows the way more. Because I like playing games with Jeff and he decided to do with the Krenko 1-2 War Spark. <laughs> and it was actually hilarious. Because <laughs> we both 
we both liked uh, that blow. <laughs> and in, in that next rematch, uh, uh, when it was one day before Independence Day, uh, it was a uh, best of one uh, in a different scenario this time. It was not Brawl. <laughs> And in this one, we decided to joke around on the emotes. <laughs> and he did apologize on the emotes, but it didn't really affect me because I know he was doing it for the lols, but but it didn't really hurt me or anything. So I personally found it funny myself, especially when he um he didn't he didn't do it deliberately to attack. Uh, so I just blocked. <laughs> And remember, this these matches were way before uh, some of the cards were banned and some of the cards were appeared. And this was, and this was in twenty twenty, I believe. Uh, yeah. So. So he was playing Mardu, uh, which had to do with um. With this big creature on the white one. Okay, so he chose to attack um, the Tutu Menace, so I didn't um, block. Um, so I'm not. So I'm not a Simic on this one. I'm a Soul Tie. Uh, so I play the Elemental, and bring Garuda in hand. So we both lose two, and he draws three cards. And he decided to tap his land, and he swings me a four, five. Yeah, it was five. So, so he was thinking that if I was going to kill, um... I was going to get Druid for the sacrifice, but I don't really think it was going to happen. But he was thinking if he was going to kill it. But he decided to um let me get my Garuda power. Alright, so... So we milled four cards each. He had two lands and two uh, Priest Guards. But I didn't want to have the priest god, so I chose Vassa instead. So, no attacks. And decided to re to rebound some um, Garuda. Mill four more cards. And, um, yep, got rid of his terror peak. So, Fibble Fib. So Terror Peaks um was actually a fortunate a fortunate card to get rid of. And we both lose two again. So he has thirteen and I had nine life. And um he was pretty much thinking that if he is going to um bring uh, the combo in, but it costed um, him much mana to bring uh, the Lomborg. Uh, so he has a blocker, but he doesn't have the mana to fling. So he was thinking very slowly. And he was not enough to kill my, um, he wasn't enough to kill me. So I bought the f Forerunner and swung of everything and um, he he knew that he was dead. But it was actually a GG. So yeah. It was pretty unfortunate for him, but but it was actually a good match for us. And the next one, which, which one was actually a small streamer that I used to follow back then. But I no longer follow her as well because um, due to too many adverts on her Twitch, 
it was just too much adverts. But I decided not to bother. But this one, I kept it in the middle as one of my favorite games. Uh, I think it's probably the second. And it's just because of the dominance. And... And I decided to make this a little bit complicated for myself. But the hand was not that good uh, in my part. So, mono black. So she's playing mono black. Uh, and I wonder why it is. Oh, it's a preset mono black. So, I definitely know what this is. It's a preset deck. So, so pretty much it's a preset mono black. So, I'm pretty much sure it's easy. Okay, so... If I manage to hold out a little bit longer... Um, right. So what is, oh, what is my opponent going to do? Oh, she's enchanted it. All right, so we're going to draw a card. So we're going to sack the stone. So she gains five life. Okay. Um, We'll play Timeless Lotus. Okay, so what's the next one now that she's going to bring? Senge Vampire. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think Kozeli? Nah, all the mark. Okay, so we'll get rid of the vampire and her land. Okay, so this is going to be a simple one. Um, there's no point going in any offensive since I'm on 10 life right now. Because if she exiles it, hmm, GG. Why? Oh, a flyer. Damn. Okay, so... Do we need the angel now? Uh, we'll get the artifact first. Creature. Uh, mirror box. Yep, okay. So... No attacks. Okay, I don't know if she's going to exile the Willemog, because she hasn't done that yet. If she has a black um, exile, because uh, it's the only way to make her win, if that's what she's saying on GG. Oh, okay. Cat demon, damn. Okay. Um, let's do this. We'll put Emrakul. Control her. Alright, Emrakul, do your poison. Um, we'll cast Skeleton Archer. And... We'll damage... We'll damage um, the orc demon. Uh, we'll swing that demon and that one. Okay. So we'll block. We'll block that and we'll block that. And now it's her turn. So. 
Here we are. Skeleton Archer again. So it deals one damage to me. That's fine. A little bit of a misplay. So Emrakul blocks. Yep, it was misplayed when she said oops. Okay, so yep, she no longer can win. Okay, so we'll attack for 25. And now she is down to 10. And will she bring Demon the Lotharan? Alright. I think it's lethal. Uh, yes, it's lethal. Okay, so we got seven cards. Ah. Uh, not the cards that we want. Uh, too late for Ugin. Yep, Ugin is too late. So, we're gonna have to swing Emrakul. Yeah, she didn't really want to bite it. Okay. And let's move on to one of my favorite games. Uh, last but not least, my favorite, Elias. Uh, which I know for a few years now, I would say roughly four. Uh, I've been a fan of her uh, since mostly at the start of the War Spark at MCOR 19. Uh, with one of her, with one of her YouTube user that I've pretty much discovered her, but she's actually a good, a good veteran of uh, magic. Uh, so Alias is actually has some good uh, competitiveness. And this one I played um, Spider Tribal um, on this one. Because I really wanted to test my spiders and see if it did actually work. Um, just to solidify everything. So... This one was a little bit tough match to be honest uh, because I was thinking a little bit too rationally um, so the moth had to make some dudes so I decided to plummet the shit out of it and um, so it was her turn and then let's see what she had in a draw it was another moth Meh. So. So I decided to get rid of the token first. Okay. And um. Plummet again. And um. I did not attack at that point. Okay, so that card was a little bit annoying what she casted, so I blocked um, Tithe and it had Afterlife, which is fair. And I decided to Mystic Reveal, yep, and then she won uh, by doing the continuous sacking, uh, which was actually lethal, actually, because I, I realized it was lethal when I was doing Mystic Reveal, whatever. So it was lethal. So it was best of three. Um, it was the only one that it was best of three, so I went first. And I did the Mystic Reveal again, 
uh, to get rid of that stupid thing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and she wasn't thoroughly impressed with the car to Mystic Appeal. And then I decided to cast, um, another set of spiders. And in her next turn, taser. And then she swings at me, so I decided to trade. Uh, I think. Did I trade? Uh, no, I didn't. Because I literally forgot about this game, to be honest. Because I remember uh, this one, it was unlisted. Because I did save it to my unlisted playlist. Because she did unlist this video. And, um, any non-spells that she plays, um, I can make some spiders of my own. Like, if it's sorcery or instance, I can make spiders. So, enchantments don't count, by the way. So, Mystic Appeal, so, I want to put that in there. Yep, and this one, uh, where she got, she got annoyed with that card. And she wanted to do a sacking on the rest of her creatures, including including that other card, and keeps the eight tokens. And I decided to do the next move, which was Viven. And I put a nice beast, and it will have reach on it. Just to keep my defenses in check. And she swings at me for 8. Which is fair enough. And it sort of makes sense. And I block for 4. And one of my spiders are buffed. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> All right, so she does the Castle Lockwain and shocks herself, and yeah, I was pretty much dead at that point because of that Lockwain, so minus two, and and I play Calliope Thorn, and as soon as the, as soon as that funny dialogue was playing, uh, Elias Elio, found it. A bit amusing on Vivian's line. <laughs> Until I saw it, I find it in her 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 giggling was pretty much funny. <laughs> I have to admit. And so I decided to play Califia Thorn, and I put a spider in a swell in a graveyard. So I played that one. And play this again to get rid of the flying tokens. Pew. But it wasn't really going to do that much. Because I'm pretty much dead in the next turn. Uh, and then when she casted it again, I was dead. Uh, and yep. So, before I go, I decided... To give a shout out to one of my favorite YouTubers slash Twitch and a streamer who is a creative limited player, which is Philippa Carola. And she's actually one of my favorites and the kindest ones as well. Yeah, go check in the link in the description. See you later.